It has been, honestly, it has been a year, a year since I've been trying to get our next guest on the program. And then when the news broke that he was finally going to be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame, I thought, wow, this is my chance. Well, it took some time there. We finally got it done. I am so excited. I am so honored. I, I, I just can't even put into words just how great it is to say BJ Penn, the prodigy, is joining us right now on the phone, right here on the MMA Hour. BJ, are you there? What's going on, Ariel? Wow. It is so great to hear your voice. Did you know I've been, try- <laughs> I've been trying to reach you for oh, a year? You. Every angle oh. possible, your brother, your mother, Rich. Finally, <laughs> the great Aunt Evans made it happen. He was the only one who could get it done. Thank you so much for coming on. It's so great to have you on the show. Great to be on the show. Right on, Ariel. Great to be on the show. So congratulations on this big news. You are being inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame on July 11th. What was your reaction when you found out that, all right, here it comes, Hall of Famer BJ Penn? I was very excited. You know, a, a great way to go out and a, a great, great way to kind of just, you know, finish it up and, you know, put myself at ease a, a little bit. But, you know, you know what was even better than uh, getting uh, inducted? Well, I don't know. I didn't get inducted yet, though. Uh, but what was even better was just everybody's positive support from it. You know what? I didn't get any, you know, any backlash or any this and that. It was just everybody so positive, and it was a very nice way to end the show. Backlash? Who would, who would disagree with you going into the Hall of Fame? Did you really think anyone would have a problem with this? No, no, no. I, no, I, I don't know. Just, you know, just, uh, I'm, I guess sometimes I'm a very controversial man, and, <laughs> you know, but everything was, was very positive and was very well taken by me. Who called to tell you the news? How did you find out? Um, Dana. Dana, actually. Wow. You know, Dana, Dana, Dana let me know. And what was that yeah. like, you know, considering your history with him, and I know it's a lot better now, but, you, you know, he, a, a guy that you've been very close with, you had your ups and downs, and you ended, you know, on a good note. What was it like to hear it from him, and what did you guys talk about? Uh, he, just, he just said, you know, to, to keep it. I think he was keeping a date from me for a little bit, but he said, to, uh, you know, keep it quiet or they're going to do something. And they, they, they don't let me know, be, you know, because, uh, you know, because of BJPen.com, they don't let me know ahead of time what's going on. <laughs> so, you know, they really got to push it out there before I get it out there. What's going on over there with BJPen.com? Are, are you happy with, you know, it's, it's a controversial website. You know this, right? Controversial as in, well, some... I, it's, it's, uh, um, it's, uh, you know, if that's all we do. We we just uh, push news out of there, and um, I think it's a it's it's it, it, it's a different type of website. It's not affiliated to anybody. It's not affiliated with the UFC. It's not affiliated with USA Today. It doesn't have any big affiliation with anybody. It's very independent. Right. The thing about BJPen.com, it's very very independent. We don't have anybody uh, leading us in any way with whatever we do. Of course, you know, I I, I have friends in the industry. You know, of course. You know, that's how we could be led, you know, by, by friends of ours. But, you know, besides that, you know, we're, um, you know, that, that's all it is. It's just an independent news agency. And we, you know, we, you know, we, we do, we do all right traffic. Yeah, I would imagine, especially with your name attached to it. So, like I said, I've been trying to get you on this show for a year. I wanted to talk to you. We missed you. We got a guy in the back there, New York Rick, who's probably your biggest fan. This guy, uh, he, he worships you back there. Um, I want to know. What has the last year been like for you? What have you been doing since your fight against Frankie Edgar? Uh, I just been, uh, been hanging out in Hilo, watching the kids, and uh, yeah, just cruising. Uh, um, you know, whatever um, businesses we, uh, I got going, I'm you know just trying to take care of those as much as I can, and you know I, I try to keep myself. Uh, Either you know busy busy physically or you know or or some, something. I really like to uh, be involved with business. I mean, hence you see bjpen.com out there. You know, trying to make a buck and you know it's just you know it's just just moving forward with with whatever I got going. Do you miss the fight game? Uh, uh, you know what? I don't miss. I don't miss uh, three month training camp. I don't miss that. I don't miss fight week. I don't miss the three month, three month training camp. I don't miss fight week, but I do miss being the baddest man on the planet. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> you ever get that itch? You ever see a fight an opponent and say, I, I could fight that guy, I could beat that guy? Oh, I think that all the time. You know, and then I see um, but Mike Tyson's coming back now against James Tony. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's but, 100%. But, but you know what's amazing, yeah. though, is, is... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Ariel. No, no, no. I was just going to say, I'm not sure if it's 100%, but yes, I've seen those reports as well. And he's obviously older than you. Yes, and it does blow me away, though, when I see, you know, uh, you know, Verdum just got, you know, got the belt at 37, and then you see Mark Hunt still fighting at 40, and, you know, all these, all these different things. And, you know, it, it is amazing. I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's just... They're out there. They're doing it. You, you know what? It, looking all these years back, you know, it ain't the speed. It ain't the technique. It ain't the power. You know, it's it's who wants it the most. And and that's you know, over time, you know, maybe, you know, as you start getting into it, the, the people start coming along that that love it more than you do. You know, hmm. and. You know, but 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 here you go. You got you know, like Mark Hondo, He was right there for a title shot, and he um. You know, and he stayed around for a lot. He had a couple of losses when he got to the UFC. He stayed in it, stayed in it, and he was right one fight away from a title shot. So, oh, no, well, he was in the title. She was in the interim fight, right? Sure, yeah, he, he fought, it. yep. Yeah, he was in the fight, yeah. Look at that. When I see stuff like that, I'm like, man, tell me if you didn't just stick around for a little while, something would just click, and, and you just, you know, you'd be back. Of course, we, on top you also or have, one fight away or whatever. Yeah, and you have Robbie that's, Lawler, who's a champion. You have uh, Barnett, right? who's coming that's back. What it means. It's crazy. Um, yeah, what, it is. You know what about how it how it all ended in Las Vegas around a year ago? I mean, a lot of people, including myself, would say that's not the BJ Penn that you know we remember that we loved so much. It just didn't seem like it was you out there. I don't know if it was the weight cut, the technique, the game plan. Does that bother you that it ended like that? No, definitely, definitely. Um, that was in my mind for a long time. But I, I mean, I'm sitting here right now. Um, you, you know, I mean, the first thing that a fighter would want to do at a time like that is go, go right back into training camp and like, oh, I gotta go do this again, or this and that. But I do feel that it is um, one of my. You know, I, I do feel, feel that something I'm proud of that as I sit here right now, that I can just kind of let let stuff like that. You know, kind of go, hmm. but I mean, as being a fighter, it is hard, you know, but I mean, if you're not standing in the octagon, then you must be retired, you know. Do you still watch the sport and follow it? Do you get excited about the fights or is it too hard to watch them? Um, you know, it's, but there's so many fights now. I, I, of course, I can't keep up with everything, but uh, I'll, I'll watch a big title fight, you know, and uh I'll, I'll watch, uh, you know, I, I probably, I know the Hawaii fighters and I know the champions, you know, that's about, that's about what I know. And then, I mean, as far as watching on television or keeping up and then, of course, BJPenn.com, I'm going to check that. So I kind of know like little stuff, you know, going on, but if I'm going to sit down and change my day or take a Saturday and turn it on, it's probably going to have to be like John Jones versus Cormier or, you know what I mean? Cain Velasquez versus Virgil. I didn't even get to see that fight, but it's gonna have to, it can't just be a regular title fight. It's got to be two two guys with like one of the old must, one of the olds must go kind of thing. You know, I always want to see the best fights. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of fans have asked me to ask you this question. Of course, you've retired from the UFC. Uh, it sounds like that's you know pretty secure. But what about a Metamorris, an IB? JJF, something like that. Are you interested in going back to your grappling roots so fans can still see you in action? Um, you know, I would I, honestly, in, in the last year, I haven't really even, I, I don't think, I, I've been, I went in the gym and I did some cardio and some stuff, but honestly, I haven't even done martial arts this, this is last year. I've just been kind of relaxing and just catching up with stuff that I missed out on in life and Instead of being in the gym all the time, I get in the gym and do cardio and stuff for my health and try to, you know, stay healthy with that kind of stuff. But I haven't even, I mean, the, the, the truth is I haven't even done martial arts this year. Oh, okay. So it has... Just has stop by in the gym and just a little stuff, yeah. Maybe in the future, you health. think? Because you're a young guy. I, well, I guess I'm young if you see that the guy just won the UFC Heavyweight yeah. Championship at 37, right? Right, right. <laughs> well, I don't know. who. It's just uh, how much you're into it. And, you know, maybe sometimes it's not age, it's, it's miles, you know. Right. You have a car, you know, yeah. So who knows? Never know.
but you don't think you'll ever fight again, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't see myself uh, with a with a with a strong uh, will to want to. I don't. You never know. You never know what the future mm-hmm. could hold. You never know what could pop up. But yeah, I got no desire to jump into a training camp and try to uh, try to go out there. Wouldn't it be something, you know, we have this sort of second coming of a great Hawaiian fighter in the form of Max Holloway, representing Waianae, right? The great city yeah. of Waianae. Um, wouldn't it be something <laughs> if he can get, finally, the UFC to come to Hawaii? I don't know if you'll fight in it, but that would be pretty cool for you, right? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. What do you think of Max? I'll definitely go and watch. What do you think of Max? Uh, I think Max is a great guy and very confident, and he's, he's on it. He's on it right now. I just, you know, stay... Stay to what he's doing and stay focused, and I, I, I will not be surprised at all to see that guy, you know, walk through everybody as time goes on. And he's still so young. He's still only 20 years old. I think he's a little older than 20, but he's still... Yeah, what is he now? Is he 22, 23? He's under 25 for sure, so he's... Uh, okay. He's got, he's got a long ways to go. So now that you could put a bow on your entire career, what would you say was the greatest moment? What, what's, the, what, what's the moment that you think about maybe when you're, you know, sleeping... Your 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 head is on your pillow, you know. You're you're saying good night to the day. What's that moment? That wow! If I could just go back to my that greatest, moment. Yeah. My greatest moment in my whole career is when I became the first non-Brazilian to win the the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championships. Wow. That was my greatest moment. So not UFC related, not the belts, nothing. Yeah, my martial arts career. Why is that? That started it all and. You know, it's just kind of like you, you, you hope, you know, and when they go and look back at judo, like, hey, who was the first guy that won in Japan that wasn't Japanese? You know, and, and that's, you know, kind of uh, as time goes on, it, it, it means more and more to me. Wow. And, and, and what about any regrets? Anything you look back and say, I wish I did this differently? Uh, too few to mention. <laughs> Really, but but I mean, you can you can walk away with your head held high, right? I mean, we all have regrets in our life, but I don't think it's anything that really eats you up inside, is it? No, that's, uh, uh, as uh, life goes on, life just gets harder, and that's the mark of a man, just keeping your head up, right? Mm-hmm. Not taking the easy way out. Well, just so, keep your head up. So you're going to be in Las Vegas for the uh, the induction on July 11th, and then we have one of the most anticipated fights ever later on that night, UFC 189, Aldo versus McGregor, and I think it's very apropos that you're being inducted because you're the man who put the lightweight fighters on the map. I mean, if it wasn't for you, who knows if we even have an Aldo or a McGregor. It's, it's, it's a nice tie-in. Do you have any thoughts on these fighters? Do you, I know, Aldo, there's a connection there from uh, Novo Nia, but what about McGregor? This is a guy who's taking the sport by storm. Are you a fan of his? Um, you know what? I, I'm uh, BJPen.com is definitely sure a fan of Conor McGregor, right? With the sure. traffic <laughs> that he brings in on different stuff, right? Um, no, I, I'm 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 definitely enjoying. I'm definitely enjoying this whole uh, build up to this whole fight. Uh, Conor's keeping it interesting, and then Aldo's, you know, uh, the greatest of all time for the featherweight. So, you know, I'm very excited. I, I want to see see what happens. Who do you think wins? I, you know, it, this whole thing with uh, Aldo's rib, you know, yeah. I, I don't know what's going to happen with the whole fight and everything. But uh, I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe it's just, a, maybe it is Connor's time and maybe is that good. Maybe it's just, uh, you know, maybe he's not that good at all. I still don't know. I, I You know, I, a lot of times I'll be sitting next to someone who doesn't know the sport that good and they look at me, they're watching and they look at me and say, what do you think about that? What just happened? And I'll say, the same thing that you thought, you know. So I'm kind of just as the same as everyone else. You know, we're going to find out if, if Connor's the real deal still. Have you ever fought and, with injured ribs? Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, you going going into a, a, a fight, I mean, are you ever going to get a chance to go in 100% to a fight? No, and, and if you're not hurt, then you probably didn't train hard enough or whatever, you know. But, uh, you know... It's 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 a strange thing that the news is already out there. Yeah. And because if you did have a hurt rib, you'd be hiding it, right? Sure. You wouldn't be telling everybody, and then just do it, and then do it anyway. So it's just, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's it's a controversial night period, I guess. Right. So so I hear that you live, uh, you I guess you live like in the in the in the woods or something. It's very hard to reach you, right? You have a uh, very, uh, you you live in an area where the cell reception isn't great, right? Oh yeah, yeah. No, we uh, we have a li- we have a little farm down there, 
But uh, I'm in Hilo, and I'm over there a lot, either either side. But the other place, the White Peel Valley, they don't have too much. Uh, it doesn't have any good uh, cell reception out there. Are you happy? Are but you happy? Are you happy? Yes. Yes. Well, that's good. Very. That, that's great to hear. BJ, I got to say, I, I, as I say goodbye, I, I'm getting a little emotional. I, I miss you. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I've, I've, I've tried so hard to get you on this show for the past year, and I'll never forget just how nice... Uh, you were to me, as I could be selfish here for a second, having you on my show. Uh, you know, I'll never forget in Australia when you said uh, that you wanted a percentage, and I'll still hold you to that. I, 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 am, <laughs> I have no problem with uh, hooking you up with that, and you've just been so great. Um, they don't make them like you, and uh, I think everyone misses you. It's, it's really great to see that you're being inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. I'm, great. I'm, so, I'm so happy that they're finally recognizing you and that you're going to get to be a part of UFC 189. You deserve to be there. And I hope that everyone comes out there to uh, celebrate you because you deserve that as well. One of the greatest ever. And it's amazing when I hear fighters talk about you with such admiration. Uh, you, you've meant so much to so many people. It's, it's, it's just really nice to see. And it's so great to hear your voice. Honestly, I say that sincerely. So I really want to thank you for coming on the show. And I want to congratulate you on this great honor. And I hope to see you on July 11th. Hey, thanks for all the kind words, Ariel. Thank you very much. Okay. And see you, Yes, uh, uh, easy, brother, and say hello to your family, especially your mother. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, Ariel, you take it easy. You take care. We'll talk soon. All right, there he is. I hope we will talk sooner rather than later. There he is, BJ Penn. Amazing stuff from him. Um, and uh, honestly, I've been trying to get him on the show for, for quite some time, really a year. Uh, yeah, that, I, I really got emotional there for some reason. Um, the UFC... 2015 Hall of Fame induction ceremony will take place Saturday, July 11th at 11 a.m. on the main stage at the UFC Fan Expo. It is free to anyone who has an expo ticket. If you are one of the unlucky ones who can't be in Las Vegas for the UFC Fan Expo or UFC 189 or the Tough Finale or Invicta on Thursday, well, you can watch it live on UFCFightPass.com. It will be a one-hour show, and what I'm told is it will be unlike the previous Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. Remember, there's a, uh, a whole new system in play. Four wings. We have the, uh, the fight, pioneer, modern day, modern era, legend. BJ Penn going in as uh, modern era. Jeff Blatnick going in as well. Frank Trigg versus Matthews, number two, going in as the fight. And Boss Rutten as the legend. And also, by the way, which I ran out of time, so I didn't mention this, but my good friends over at MMA History Today, who just launched their own website, MMAHistory.today, reminded me that on June 29, 2001, a 22-year-old BJ Penn proved that he is much more than a grappler. I'm using their words. He knocked out Dean Thomas at UFC 32. How about that? 14 years ago today. Knocked him out in 2 minutes and 42 seconds in East Rutherford, New Jersey. In just his second pro fight, remember his first pro fight, UFC fight, UFC 31, that was in May of 2001, his uh, TKO win over Joey Gilbert. So there he is, the prodigy. I really want to thank Ant Evans of the UFC for hooking us up. That was, uh, that was quite the journey, but he got it done. He's the man, and we appreciate that greatly.